Hi students, once again welcome back to our channel VA Academy. Today we are discussing the most important bits regarding all the competitive exams. So please listen and watch the video. If you are like, please kindly subscribe, like and share your friends. Okay, so then we will start the video. The question number one, the specific in SI units. So S is equal to Q by M, where T is the T is the temperature T1, T2 by T1, T2. So S is equal to Q M T. The specific heat means the amount of heat energy is required or evolved, absorbed or evolved at the particular substance is known as the specific heat. The most important bits, there are two important bits in this uh, specific heat. What is the specific heat of water? The specific heat of water is 1. The specific heat of uh, ice is 0 0.5. This is the most important bits. Next question. That the what temperature the foreign heat and centigrade are equal? So the minus 40 degree centigrade, the temperature and foreign heat are equal. The next question, the SI units of heat is Joule. The SI units of temperature is Kelvin. The international standard SI units are heat, thermodynamics is the Kelvin. This is the most important bit also. The temperature of the body is in the human, a healthy person. The temperature, this is, this is recording um, biology as well as physics. In biology, they are asking question to us, what is the temperature of the air in a healthy person? So 37 degrees centigrade or 98.4 degree Fahrenheit or 310 Kelvin. Any answer is the choice. Next, the latent heat of substance is Q is equal to ML, area L is equal to Q by M. Latent heat means the amount of heat energy is required, one gram of substance is completely changed from one phase to another phase. It means from solid to liquid or liquid to vapor. So that is the latent heat of the substance. The latent heat of the substance, what, uh, ice is 80 kilocalories and water is the 540 kilocalories. This is the most important bit. Next, the SI units of latent heat is joules per kg. In CGS units of latent heat, calorie per gram. These are the important bits. All these bits are the most important in your future examination purpose. Please kindly watch video. Latent heat of ice is 80 calorie per gram. The required energy, next question, the required energy to melt 10 gram of ice is completely into the water. We have to solve the problem. Evaporation takes place at the surface of the liquid. Generally, the evaporation takes place at the surface of the liquid. It means the evaporation process takes place at the surface only. The next question. The specific heat of substance depends on it by temperature. Next question, if one gram of ice is at zero degree centigrade converted into the steam at 100 degree centigrade, the amount of heat energy is required, so 80 calorie. Next question, evaporation rate depends on its, number one, temperature, humidity and area. Next, the rate of evaporation depends on surface area. The next question. The melting point and boiling points are depends on pressure. The next question. The water droplets condensed on the surface is called U. The 
the next question which is working on the rule of magnetic induction so example tape recorder induction stove and atm machines the next question the relationship between the direction of the electricity electric current and magnetic field established by maxwell cork law this is also most important the next question electromagnetic electromagnetic induction was proposed by faraday by mistake both two times is magnetic magnetic please faraday michael faraday so the next question the shape of solenoid is spherical okay the next question solenoid works on what's as when current passing through it there is a bar magnet the next question transformer working on the principle of mutual induction so what is meant by mutual induction when changing current in one coil induce the emf in the other strength of induction depends on its so pair of coils so the strength of induction depends upon the strength of the coils the next question what is the frequency of ac power supply of india ka consumption is 50 hertz the next question in a dynamo the emf is produced is dc current the next question fleming right hand rule gives the direction the direction of induced current in a conductor the next question the phenomena of electromagnetic induction was discovered by michael faraday the next question the dynamo works on the principle of electromagnetic induction okay so the next bit the direction of induced current is determined by the principle of lenz rule the direction the electric current induced in a conductor by changing magnetic field so this is was proposed by lenz's law so all these bits the most important regarding your examination purpose heat and magnetism and electromagnetism heat and electromagnetism so frequently these questions are asking so i am requesting all of you please carefully watch this video and if you have time please make a small notes and this is the examination purpose when you are going to the examination you please read and observe these questions thank you thank you very much